Introducing first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, a well-versed mixed martial artist specializing in Muay Thai, the hammer-fisted veteran and former champion, introducing Scott, hands of Steel Smith. And his opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner, the one and only the right spinning back kick and those are pure evil when they land to that rib cage you could hear the thud of the kick making contact with smith's body he is shelling up and kung lee delivering a series of right hands lee is just firing away now smith finally struggles back to his feet those shots to the ear messing with his equilibrium he was already going back let's see what kung lee's ground game's like he lets smith back smartest move. The compu strike numbers tell the story. In the opening round, Kung Lee landed 45 of 70 strikes. Scott Smith just four. The only time in the fight where you use head movement. Beautiful combination again. The punches and the spinning back kick. One of the most dynamic strikers in the sport. Kung Lee putting on a show. That's a big energy move. I don't think and Kung's got it. it. Ends the second round with a couple of strikes, giving him some momentum heading into the final frame. 21 kicks in the second round. His last three fights have been third round. Oh! Can he make it fourth straight? Hurt yep. Smith with that one and again. He's got him at range now. Kong's got to be careful in punching range right here. The only time he's really punched hurt. Scott Smith very effectively. So far, spinning back fist by Lee. Why not? I've had that done to me. <laughs> I didn't like that. Smith is coming on right here. Kong's moving back. Oh, yeah. He's just going to finish him. Just he's just going to finish him. And he's going on the ropes. Scott Smith got him. Delivering another right hand. He's just going to finish him. That's it. Miracle and San Jose. Scott Smith has done it. Here it is again. Look at Scott dipping in there. That short, tight left hook. That's what clipped Kong and sent him down. Trying to get back to his feet. Look how wobbly he is. That short left, this quick right. It's just no time to recover for Kong. Kong's trying to catch his breath. That shot put him down. That shot put him down. That shot finished him off. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of three minutes, 25 seconds at round number three. Our referee in charge, Big John McCarthy, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, the blue-collar brawler, the comeback kid, Scott Hands of Steel Smith. Okay, Scott, how does it feel to be the first person who not only put a dent of a man who never lost a fight. Man, that was one hell of a rock star energy finish right there, baby. That was so much fun. That's why I like to fight. Uh, I got a hard head. Uh, he beat on me for a good two and a half rounds. I'm never out of the fight, you guys. That's why I'm fun to watch. Well, we're going to have another look at it up here, Scott. Um, tell us what's happening here. I think I threw a faint right left hook. That's what they've been yelling all day. Yep. Faint the right, throw the left hook. Um, everybody looks for my right. My left hook's my best punch. Eric Regan told me I'm going to win with the left hook, and I caught a couple of them there. You've got a great career ahead of you, and both of you guys have done so well for their sport. It was a great fight. Let's hear it for them one more time. Scott Smith and Kung Lee. Watch Scott Smith take on Kung Lee in a Strike Force rematch, Saturday, June 26th at 10, only on Showtime.
A young man, and further, the unseen factor, the mental anguish over the KO he suffered in his last fight. The first loss of his career. Let's go inside the cage now to Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go as Strike Force M1 Global and Showtime present a rematch special attraction in the middleweight division. We're scheduled three five minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, a world renowned Sand Show fighter with an MMA record of six wins, one loss, with all six wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, looking to avenge his loss from San Jose, California, by way of Vietnam, please welcome the popular Sand Show world champion and the former Strike Force middleweight champion of the world. Producing Kong Lee. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. An always dangerous and well-versed mixed martial artist yeah. specializing in Muay Let's Thai. Go, with a it. record of 18 wins, 6 losses, and 1 no contest. Let's with 15 it. big wins Let's coming by way of knockout. From Elk Grove, California, please welcome the hammer-fisted veteran, the comeback phenom, and former champion, Scott Hands of Steel Smith. And the referee in charge now to give instructions, Jason Herzog. I've just gone over the rules in the background. No final questions from you, Blue. No final questions from you, Red. That's close. I'm not ready to fight. Scott Smith, Kong Lee, the rematch in San Jose. And for Kong Lee, you know he has great takedown defense. But one thing, Frank, he's pretty good at taking you down. He's a good wrestler. He should use it. I don't know why he doesn't. Scott hands of Steel Smith. That right hand has fire in it. And if he connects, it could be lights out early for Kung Lee. First round, buddy, are you ready? Buddy, are you ready? Let's fight! And we're underway. And Smith quickly across the ring. He said he wasn't going to waste any time going at him. There's a right hand by Smith. Scott he is just Smith rushing is him. after him. Now you just got to be careful he doesn't extend and get caught with a hook. Or get caught with a kick when he's reaching. How's Lee's punching power, Frank? I mean, he punches good. They're crisp and they're tight. They're not like heavy thudding ones, but they're nice pops. Lee saw a lack of cardio in the fact he didn't listen to his corner very well. Hurt him in the first meeting with Smith. Smith, 31 years old. Kung Lee, 38. Will age be a factor? As the fans show who they are rooting for, cheering Kung Lee's name. I like the strategy already by Scott Smith. Bowling in there, nose in the chest, just like he said he was, pinning him in the cage, stopping all that movement. Smith worked with a boxing coach for the first time for this training camp. Professional by the name of Mike Guy, wanting to work on his head movement defensively. Smith, very aggressive. Lee backing up. We haven't seen him use his kicks yet. And that was another... Then he mentioned the fact that the sheer number of kicks that he threw against Smith in the first fight may have emptied his tank prematurely. Scott Smith has made a head movement. <laughs> Finally, he slipped a couple of punches there. He got hit with a kind of a hooking jab. Kung Lee is beating him with a punch now. But Smith is the kind of fighter that'll take two. He'll take three to get one. Because generally that one counts a whole lot. Kung Lee is getting through with that straight left. As Scott kind of barrels in, he's timing him, and he's dropping it straight down and popping him. Of course, Lee, the southpaw, that straight right of Scott Smith may be his primary weapon. Kung Lee trying to find some space to get his kicks up. Finally does. And already resorting to his dog. Oh, oh, straight left That hand. straight left pop really good. Now, big Smith change here. With a shot. 
And there's that takedown defense. Hugley earned All-American honors, was a state wrestling champion in California. We don't see his wrestling skills that often. Nice spot will come for years. I've never actually gotten him down. <laughs> He's in great position here just to do damage or to pick it around and do damage from the backside. Also giving Smith an opportunity to clean out the cobwebs, however. Yeah. Kung Lee just content to cover his head, use basic wrestling, stop him from advancing, and pound on his body. This is great tactical skill here. Smith getting to his feet. Lee dropping down. Scott Smith has got to sit out and walk around here. I don't think he has the wrestling hips for it. But he needs to do some wrestling here if he's going to get out of this position. And it's interesting. He wrestled in junior college, also studied BJJ now for nearly a decade. So two guys known for their striking, but they do have the background in the grappling arts as well. Both fighters standing up. Nick powered his way back up to his feet. Good job in pinning Lee against the fence. Doing some pummeling now. to get us started. Kung Lee with kind of a leaping hook followed up with a nice straight left. That left has been landing. That's his, that's his money punch. He's been timing it with a reaching jab and a hooking jab and then sprawling out, stopping that takedown. There it is again, hooking, pop, straight right down the pipe. Really nice crisp punch, hard to see and very fast. Straight on the button. And once Kung got comfortable, he started kicking, and this is where he broke my arm. He's done a lot of damage. That one just barely blocked by Scott Smith. This is where he's got to worry about getting later into this fight with big kicks that have a lot of power at the head. Second round, buddy, you ready? Round two, buddy, scheduled ready? for three five-minute rounds. Scott Smith, Kung Lee. No matter what Smith tells us, I truly believe that he thinks the best defense is a great offense. He just eats a lot of leather. Not very much defense, though, from Scott Smith. None. And Kung Lee keeps catching him. Coming in, double hooks, head kicks. And Kung Lee's very, very judicious with his strikes this time. He's not going crazy. He's picking up. He's being much more accurate and precise. Woo! Dropped him. That spinning heel kick was a big, big shot. Stomach shots like that. We just saw Jan oh. get out on that one. Scott Smith trying to cover up in the turtle position. But Kung Lee really starting to pour it on here in the second round. Kung Lee should bang on his body. Hit the body. Take his juice out of him. Then he can knock him out. Well, Kung Lee is fighting like he has a new mouth to feed. And, uh, boy, big-time difference here. Like you mentioned in the patience department, he talked to us about that. 
setting up his techniques a lot more than just throwing the proverbial caution to the wind like he did in the opening fight the first meeting tons of kicks now come Leo back up Lee trying to use the jab he's been successful with the hook as well and the straight right hand Finishing with a flurry here. He reached in, double punch, and landed that spinning heel kick right to the solar plex. That is where you do not want it to land. It freezes up your entire diaphragm. It locks up your whole body, and you can't breathe or even move. That's what Scott Smith is feeling right here, besides those big knees and hooking punches to his body and his head. Scott Smith, wow. How come I can't do that stuff? Hmm. That is the kick, just Kong Lee, when, once he has that range and that speed and that distance, just devastating, difficult to see, spinning, a lot of power. All right, let's go now inside the cage for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 46 seconds in round number two. A referee in charge, Jason Herzog, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of knockout, avenging his only loss.